everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo. And today I'm gonna to show you guys five different ways to improve the speed of your Samsung Galaxy device. So this way your phone can run faster, smoother, and snappier. So the first thing that you wanna do is pull down your notifications panel and you can look around and try to find where it says power mode. Now, once you find power mode, you're able to give this thing a press and hold. Now out of the box, your power mode is probably underneath optimize. Well, this is where you wanna switch it over into high performance. It'll give you higher system speed, maximum screen brightness and resolution. Now this will use just a little bit more battery, but you are able to choose if you wanted to have your screen resolution. Maybe let's say you wanted it at that full HD plus your brightness, you might not have to have it so bright, but at least you will be getting faster system speeds. So let's go through, let's give this one a apply. And you can see a lot of the things that it is changing. So sometimes when you are on that optimized, it will limit your CPU at 70%. Now, the second thing you could change is your background process limit. So what you wanna do is go inside of your settings. You're gonna scroll all the way down and you want to unlock developer options. How you're able to do that is go inside of your about phone. Now inside of here, you wanna click on software information. Now, once inside of here, you wanna click on build number seven times. Now, once you've already unlocked this seven times, it will just state that your developer options is already unlocked. So go back to screens. And then right below about phone, this is where you see developer options. So usually what I do here is I scroll all the way down. Now, once you're on the bottom of the phone, once you scroll up, you're gonna find where it says apps pretty quick. Now, once you go underneath that menu of apps, you're gonna look right here for background process limit. So you can put at most, you can have four processes in the background limit. So this way it's not running so many applications and processes in the background. The third setting to change will be the way that you're able to optimize your phone. So once you go inside of the settings on the very top, then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna scroll down to where you see device care. Now inside of device care on the top right hand side, this is where you wanna go inside of advanced. And then you wanna turn on this auto optimization. So auto optimization is a way that you're able to optimize your phones automatically once a day. It'll uh, close applications, free up memory. Uh, background applications will also be closed. Any recent applications will also be closed. Uh, the best way to do this is just to have it set up for 3 a.m. Just a time that you're asleep. If you want it to be at 2 a.m., 4 a.m., it doesn't really matter as long as you're not using your phone. And then you can also choose this option here, which is close apps to free up memories. So what's gonna happen with this auto optimization, it's just like if you always left your laptop or TV on all the time, it's gonna get laggy, it's gonna have issues, it needs to turn off, it needs to restart, and that's exactly what this does. Oh, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo and you appreciate these tips, tricks, and tutorials on your Samsung Galaxy devices, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. The fourth thing to change is one that doesn't make that much of a change, but as you add all of these together, it'll make a pretty big impact. So what you wanna do is scroll right back down inside of your settings, go inside of advanced features. Then underneath advanced features, this is where you see reduce animation. So you can tone down the motion effects on the screen, such as when apps are opened or closed. So just turn that one on and it's able to help a little bit. Now in the same lines as reduce animations, there's another way you can do this just to a little bit more of an extreme level. And it actually does make your phone super quick. It's actually one of the very first things I ever do the moment I get the phone. And that is where you wanna unlock the developer options. Once it's unlocked, you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna notice where it's says screen animation scale. Uh, so once you find all those animation scales, it's gonna be somewhere kind of in the middle. And once you change these ones from the original one uh, and you put them over into the, the 0.5, it's gonna make a pretty big difference. So for example, this window animation scale, you can see how it, it takes a little bit of time to, scroll, to, to pull up. Just to show you a bigger change, we put it at that two times. Now let's do it at that five times. So you can see how it's really slow. Now, if you're already at that one times, you can saw you, you saw that it went pretty quick from that five to the one. Now, when you go at even half of that speed, so you can see here, it's gonna go quite a bit quicker. You are able to put this down at zero animation. Uh, so you can see here that there's gonna be a little bit of change between uh, those right there. So here is that zero animation. I always state to keep it at 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is a big enough change. It's twice the speed as this one right here, which is out of the box. Sometimes when you turn off all of your animations, sometimes it actually kind of cancel out a few things that you're able to do. Sometimes when you were to put it at that zero animation, you wouldn't really see this thing bobbing, which would also sometimes take away from some of these actions you're able to do with applications. So I always state, keep it at 0 0.5. There's no need to put it at zero. It makes a big enough 
enough difference, especially when you do all five of these things that I just got done showing you. And so you can just see how quick this thing is uh, going between really anything and everything. It's really high performance, super fast, snappy. Uh, everything is done. <laughs> but I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh,